Hello and welcome to Access Sportsnet Lakers, driven by your Southern California Honda dealers. I'm Chris McGee, the Hall of Famer, big game James Worthy. We've got Allie Clifton. we got Trudell and Brez working the post game. Can't really sugarcoat it. Embarrassing loss for the Lakers, losing huge leads, not putting a Warriors team away when you had ample opportunities. And you can get away with that some nights, but it's going to come bite you many times in the NBA, and it did tonight, James. Yeah, it bit him tonight. Um, you know, they went against a team that, uh, you know, was absent, uh, you know, Clay Thompson, uh, a young team, a scrappy team. I was very impressed with uh, what Steve Kerr has done with this team. He got them motivated to play. Uh, but, yeah, the Lakers, uh, you know, when, when you have a chance to put it away and you don't, and I think what's happened over uh, this span of wins, uh, they've, you know, uh, been used to playing a little bit slow and then turning it on. And they've taken care of business. But tonight, um, it just seemed like they were just flat. It seemed like they just couldn't respond to what Golden State was doing to them, not getting good shot opportunities, not connected defensively like they normally are. Um, and so, yeah, it was, a, it was a lackluster kind of a performance, particularly in the fourth quarter. What if I would have come to you before the uh, pregame show and said, hey, by the way, Allie, uh, Steph Curry's Steph only going to go three for 12. I would have stopped right there. Steph Curry's going to only go <laughs> three for 12 <laughs> from three. The Lakers will lead by 19 in the first quarter, but they're going to lose the game. You know, I think that's what's think so I'm crazy? kind of, yeah. And the bench will play great. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> uh, I think that's probably what's so mind-boggling because after starting out the way they did and were able to manage that 19-point yeah. lead in the first, you would have thought things were going towards the Lakers' way for the night but I think what you also learn is what we've continued to preach it's what they know inside that locker room is that they are the defending champs and every single night you are going to get your opponent's best shot and also with that comes players who may outplay themselves yeah. I mean Kelly Oubre is averaging 11 points this season we're talking about how he, he can't even throw it into the ocean and he has 23 23 his season high Pascal off the bench Pascal. yeah ties his Season high with 19. I mean, guys are just playing out of their minds. So Andrew Miller, our graphics producer, he's, he's a Bay Area, he got Bay Area guy. He's a huge Warrior fan. We told him to build a fourth quarter collapse uh, full screen, and he did. And I think he did it with a smile on, on his face because <laughs> uh, it was a collapse, colossal collapse. Uh, the Warriors outscored the Lakers 34 to 21. Field goals were 14 of 23, 6 of 19. Lakers an embarrassing one for nine from three. But here's some other ones, James. They were up nine with five minutes left in this game. They didn't yeah. score for over four minutes after that. They had four turnovers in the final few minutes. Warriors went on an 11-0 run. I, I mean, pick which one's the worst. I don't know. All, Lakers all, didn't deserve it. All, all of the above, Geeter. And, you know, it's something when you're used to winning. Like I said, the Lakers defense has been, you know, pretty good. And they're used to winning. And I think you have to be aware of that internal clock that says, okay, we'll be able to turn it on. But what happens is Golden State has an internal clock too, and they turned it on as well. They weren't going to be denied. And so they just couldn't turn it on. I think it, they turned it off somewhere when they had a 19-point lead and never was able to get back in the ball game. They couldn't just turn the switch on and get the defense going, layups, uh, you know, the bench players for – Golden State out hustled. There's things that we normally don't see, we saw uh, in the fourth quarter in particular. Yeah, I mean, this is a Warriors team, you know, minus Clay, as we mentioned. Draymond's getting back, Steph's getting back. It's a young team. They outscored the Lakers 67 49. Here's the thing, Allie the Lakers are not going to be perfect. Right. I know we want them to be every single night, but the Warriors played harder tonight. 67-49 in the second half. You know, Bottom coming line. in, Steve Kerr made the point that they're just not in sync right now offensively. I think they turned the corner mm -hmm. of it tonight because I yeah. think at the end of the day, you mentioned how different the Warriors are to what mm -hmm. we're so accustomed to seeing. But their system, their style of play, and who they are going to be and want to be about – because you still have that guy, that dominant force in Steph Curry yep. running the show, they're still going to pass the ball. They're going to move that basketball offensively, and they're going to get after it on the defensive end of the floor. And when you put that all together and you continue to stick with that, good things will happen. And tonight, that's what happened for the Warriors. Yeah, and, and, and Frank said it. He said it early in this game when, when he said it to the team and, and when he was interviewed. Like, you can't let this team hang around because of that guy. And sure, Steph was 2 for 11 at, at the time, but he hits the big three uh, with a minute left to put them up five. Uh, Kelly Oubre, they had an interesting conversation about him. Reggie was saying, listen, he, you know, social media, 
fans around the NBA. He was supposed to be that guy to kind of fill the role when Clay uh, tore his Achilles, and, and he has really had an up and down rough season. Well, tonight he came to play. Uh, 23 points, 9 of 18, James. Well, you know, they didn't, they didn't take care of him early, and he's sitting in that corner and just got busy. You know, that's where he was, down in that deep corner. And, you know, like Ali said, he did it everywhere. And the way they moved the ball, they're going to make the defense give him something. And, you know, he was just under control, attacking the Lakers' defense. And, you know, they just never met his energy. So a guy who's been cold and hadn't been going his way, you always have to be aware of him. And, you know, Allie mentioned it early, too. They are the defending champions. They're going to get this every night. Yeah. Even from the worst teams mm -hmm. in the league, they're going to come out and play hard. So you, that's another dimension that the Lakers have to get used to. They didn't have that last year. They weren't defending champions. This year they are. Every night's going to be a big night. And they had an opportunity to win this game. They just didn't close it out. Surprised us tonight, James, though. MLK, uh... MLK Day in the NBA, it's, it's a big day. It's a national game. It's only on TNT. You're, you're right after an unbelievable Brooklyn yeah. game with Harden and KD in Milwaukee. And they built up a 19-point lead coming off of, what, six straight wins, five straight wins. They looked so good. And then it just kind of, they, they, they took their foot off the gas, Allie. Yeah, and when you do it against a team, as we've been talking about, who can really light it up. And once you knock down one and two, it becomes contagious. It, it's tough. It's tough to just flip the switch against every team, as Geter mentioned, but especially you don't want to do it, even if the Warriors are average right now, mm -hmm. you don't want to do it against a team like them because Dumb. they're too capable. And when they put you on your heels and then the shots aren't <clears throat> falling, the one thing when you look at the Lakers coming into tonight in that five-game winning streak, the ball was moving on the mm -hmm. offensive end of the floor, 26 assists on average, and tonight just 23. Shots weren't falling. And you know what happens when shots aren't falling. It becomes tougher on the defensive end, and it makes you want to makes you want to it you need to dig in even more so deeper and you're doing it against a team that has caught fire yeah and the lakers got such poor shots down the stretch we were seeing those final three minutes long twos no nothing in sync no actions and and, and what's interesting we're going to show you guys right here they're still in this game right shooter misses that free throw makes the second one they're down two. steph misses that layup the lakers get the ball with 12 seconds the indecision yeah. james was was uh NT as we continue to celebrate MLK Day, and it is time for a little Access 360 big game. Brought to you by Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Good, Good times. Good times indeed. Uh, the new look Warriors, but they're still led by Steph Curry. Yeah, yeah. New look all you want to. That's Steph Curry's team, and uh, he lets you know uh, the way he plays the game. Uh, you know, he's injury-free. Looks like he's picked up a little muscle uh, up top. He's stronger, and he's demonstrating... He can do it all on the floor. So deadly from outside. Right now, as soon as he crosses half court, you're in trouble. Now, what looks like a pick is just a setup for him to go the opposite way. He fakes lefts, come back to the right. He does not need any airspace, lures you into that potential four point of play. Now, he hits the three. Now you think you're going to stop the three. This is why he does all those drills before the game, kids. So he can get through here, get downhill. You can't guard this guy. Now, right here, he's seeking the ball. Seeking the ball. I don't care who's guarding me. Paul George, come on and get some of this. Okay? Right now, he's surveying the defense. He knows he has all this space right here. Think he's going to drive. Again, here comes the ball handling drills. Behind the back, step back. He makes anybody look like a fool if he's on an island by himself. Love to watch him. Uh, you know, we I, I remember Marcus Haynes. You guys are probably too young for Marcus Haynes. He was before Curly Neal. Oh, wow. Curly Neal with the Harlem Golf, Harlem Golf Charles. Sure. Steph Curry, all those drills that he does, they really are for a purpose because they get him just away from the defender just enough to get his shot off or draw the foul. He can shoot from the three. He can go downhill. He can finish at the hole. And uh, he's just an amazing player. Great breakdown. And James, it's, it, it, it's amazing. He, he has rings. He's got MVPs. <laughs> going to the Hall of Fame. He's already considered, you know, one of the great shooters of all time. Still works on his craft. Yeah. That's what the great ones do. Because he knows at some point they're going to get back to where they were. So he'll be ready. Yeah. They never stop working on their craft, regardless of the record or, you know, who's on the team or who's injured or what. He's healthy. 
And he's going to demonstrate that he's still, I'm not going to take LeBron, but he's still one of the kings. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, listen, Brez, everybody basically buried them. They started yeah. out the year losing by 30, back-to-back -back games. There's no clay. Draymond's not playing. Stats by himself. He doesn't, everyone's saying he can't carry the team. He's, and then he, he, he has reminded everybody, I'm still an all-star. Still yeah. Steph Curry. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, those, Good for the league. Yeah, those Valley first two league. games. I mean, Brooklyn uh, took it to him. Milwaukee took it to him. And ever since then, they've kind of stabilized. Look, anything's better than the last season. When they were 15 and 50, a nightmare for the franchise. Obviously, a lot of injuries last year. Now, though, 6-6. Six and six, So they, they've kind of righted the, uh, the ship a little bit. Steph, very interesting to watch him this year. He got 62 against Portland. And then a couple of days later, he hit up the Clippers for 38. I mean, he made nine threes against them. So he still definitely has it. The problem for Golden State, their offense not really consistent. They are 24th uh, among the NBA teams in ratings. Really, Andrew Wiggins, the only other guy besides Steph who is giving them consistent scoring, about 18 points a game. And their defense, you got James Wiseman, the, the talented rookie center. He's probably got a pretty good future. He's anchoring the middle. Some ups and downs for him, for sure, in his first season. They love James Wiseman. They took him number mm -hmm. two overall. And, and, and Ali, I think everyone's excited about that matchup, especially in the Bay Area. He gets to take on Anthony Davis. And Anthony Davis likes to remind young guys, <laughs> Welcome to the NBA, right? It's just, you know, he, he, he likes these matchups, too, not just the young guys who circle the calendar. That, and that's what I was just going to yeah, say. Yeah. Because of that, Christian Wood just doing it moments ago, we yeah. saw how that ended up. Uh, I am intrigued and excited to see how this one will as well. I mean, he's a seven-footer who yeah. can shoot the mid-range uh, pull-up. But he also, I mean, if you see him out in transition from any games, if you've watched him this season, he dunks on everyone. Ooh. I mean, he's unstoppable in the open court. But I think where we're going to learn and see those Welcome to the NBA moments is... On the defensive end of the floor, when he draws an assignment with AD, he's just so skilled when it comes to Anthony Davis that he really puts you in positions to need to learn. You know, and again, he came out of college having played just three games, so there's a lot of ups and downs right yeah. now for him. Uh, such a raw talent, but I think it'll be fun nonetheless. And, and listen, Anthony Davis, he's still a young guy, but he's now been in this league. He, now he's got a ring, multiple-time All-Star. Everyone's coming after him now. Big game. And you have to love that if you're Anthony Davis. You do. You know, you're, you're top of the hill, king of the hill. And, you know, my prediction that Wiseman will be in foul trouble in the first quarter. If he, <laughs> if he tries to guard AD, AD is going to go into that, that guard play that he does. He knows how to get his body into it. He knows a guy that reaches a desperate shot blocker. He'll know how to get him in foul trouble. So I'll pay close attention to that. But you got to box the guy out. You know, Ali said he loves the dunks. He gets to that rim, whereas he can deliver. What a change this all must be for Anthony Davis. A couple seasons ago, he's chilling in New Orleans, a total under-the-radar type of franchise. Made the playoffs a couple times, but people were not gunning for him or his team. Now, every single night, he's got he's to go up against a young guy trying, trying to take it to him or a veteran team, uh, starting with uh, Milwaukee just a few days from now. They're kicking off that seven-game trip. Some really good veteran teams, Milwaukee, Boston, and Philly on the horizon. But 